Attention, Riso Audioma victims. If you or a loved one has Riso Audioma and it's causing terrible headaches and fits of rage, we feel your pain. <laughs> It's terrible that George's annoying laughter has put innocent Americans in harm's way. Call us right now. Call the Santino and Lee Law Firm, 1-888-431-3611. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I'll uh, back y'all, and I'll hey. back y'all, and I'll biggity back, and I'll back hey, y'all. First of all, um, George, before we start, this is regular Red Bull. Rut row. Holy shit. Rut row, Scoo. So do you have the sugar free? Or? Do you have the sugar free, George? Oh. Or no? Because otherwise, we're throwing a fit. I'm not going to throw a fit. I'm throwing I'm a throwing, fit. I'm not throwing a fit. He I wants sugar free, George. By the way, you know those things. Who, what's the difference between sugar free anyway? Sugar free. Well, is, one has one has sugar and the other one has taurine. Well, it's fake sugar, which is worse for you. So you should just drink good sugar, real sugar. Real really? Sh- real sugar is not. Yes, fake sugar is so, so bad. This for has you. real sugar in it. Well, look at it. What does it say? I don't know. I don't drink Red Bull. It says taurine, lightly carbonated. Taurine is the energy element. What's the sugar element? <laughs> the sugar element is. Do you think oh, taurine is sugar? Do you think taurine is sugar? It could be. <laughs> Man, it's good to be back. No, because I'll tell you why. A lot of times um, they hide um, certain ing- ingredients, right? And it c- it's something else, but I don't know the, like, the technical term. Ter- 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 I'll, I'll give you an example. It says here huh? um, niacinamide. Right? Oh, na- na- you know what niacinamide is? It could be, but here's the thing. It's a balance inhibitor. It makes sure that your balance is good even when you're running right, at a high but level. It could be like, you know, bull dick, ground up bull dick. But they, you know, they then they put a term on it, niacinamide, right. and I'm drinking bull dick, but I'm really, you know what I mean? But I think it's niacinamide. Do you really think there's bull dick in there? <laughs> I think there's some dick in here. There is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there's some dick in there. There is some dick, but I don't think it's bull dick. I've heard stories that there's like Red Bull. What Are, is it? There's some bull bullish elements in here. Uh, well, do you want to know the history of it? Yeah, I'd love to. Seriously, it was created by a German guy. <laughs> yeah, and it's by the way, it's like 20 years old. It only came to America the past 10 years. Yeah, because I went to Thailand. They have the Red Bull there as well. Red Bull started in I think Thailand. It started in Thailand. It did. Listen. Yeah. A German guy stole the company, like stole the idea, and brought it to Germany and the Netherlands, and that's where it's that's where it started to grow in Europe. He stole the idea. It translates to Red Bull. The name of the company translates to Red Bull. I'm dead serious. In Thai, I'm Red Bull. I'm smiling because I'm just good to see you back. In, I know. I'm glad to be back. Yeah. In Thai, Red Bull. The, to, to say it, it's that that means Red Bull. It's <laughs> not Thai. I know. What did you do to my head? By the way, we got these great figurines from Van Duel, and uh, my head broke. We're gonna glue it back on, and I'm really sad. Somehow my Dude, head what's broke. The, hey. Oh fuck. What is this? Get this off. Why is this here? Well, you didn't even let George explain why. Don't shake the table, because then I won't get. Then my head will fall okay. off again. What is this? this? What is it today, Bob? Do you want to ask George? Do you want to ask George why he did? Do George, do you have sugar-free Red Bull for him? I'll go buy some, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, well, also, what is this for? What does four mean? This is for our fourth podcast. <laughs> what does the four mean? Thank you, George. I it's love you. It's our fourth podcast. <laughs> no, but we've done way more than four. We've done more than four. It's my birthday today. Today is my birthday. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Today is my born day. I was born today. There's no way today's your birthday. Yes, it is. Can I, I, wait, wait, can wait, wait. I, can oh. I read you the text that my wait, mother wait, sent I got, me? I, honestly, I got I to gotta look it up because if I didn't know it was your birthday, and I'm going to feel so guilty. Yeah. So No, uh, I knew you would know, and I know, and I said to them, I knew. Andrew I said, I'll bet $1,000. Huh? Santino. I tell these guys, they'll, he'll never know my birthday. Santino birthday. Did you know it was my birthday? No, happy birthday to Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And you know what's so fucked up about October this? October 16th. That's my birthday. That's today. Oh, fuck. That's today. Well, um, I got you something. What would you get me? Um, <laughs> regular, regular, I know you don't like Does that have bull dick in it? <laughs> it's got bull dick. Yeah. Oh, I love these. It's, it's got 99 sign in it. I don't drink this. I don't drink that stuff, but thank you. Is it really, how old are you? I feel so bad. 37. You don't because feel bad for, at all. Don't no, lie. No, i tell you why. Liar. Because for my birthday, right, you got me stuff. I got you a Chris Stefano and I got you a cake, and he got you ramen noodles. And then they got you Corona. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, you know what I mean? That was for that your was birthday. early birthday. No, no, no. That was your birthday Oh, that gift. was my birthday to give you Corona. It was to give me Corona. Yeah. Ironically enough, I brought a gift to uh, the studio, and it's for Rudy Jules, because I think but she, she deserves it. Get, I'm 37. Like, we, 37. Wow, you're that much younger than me. Mm -hmm. I've got really so sad. much more life to live. But you look so much older. Fuck is you. This is from uh, this is from this company, Ma Los Angeles. They look what they got for Rudy. Show show everybody at home. Show Tito and uh, and show the feet. Look at what she, what did she need more than anything? What did you get sick of? What did you get sick of, Bob? Her um, not her repulsive close to the mic. her repulsive sandals. Oh, she finally got new sandals. Say thank you, thank Ma Los you. Angeles. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. What Los are those? Angeles. Birkenstocks? No, that's a competitor, dude. <laughs> What's it called? Ma Los Angeles. Oh, I love Malala. Look on the bottom. It says it. Read it out loud. Say what it is. They sent you shoes. What does it say on the bottom of the shoe? Ma Los Angeles. Ma Los Angeles. That's a company. Ma yeah. LA. Try them on. And put your foot up. Let's let people see your foot. Let's see. Wait, hold yeah. on. Put your foot up so people can see the old sandals to the new sandals. Put your foot up so people see. Also, this will end up on like wiki feet or something. Like I now know, I just realized. Gross. Let's see the old sandals. My feet is dirty. Yeah, we know. Okay, those are the old ones. <laughs> Look at those fucking things. I know. Those are Mongo feet. Jesus Christ. You climb the fuck out of a tree, dude. You could water ski on those. I know. Oh, I like it. Like oh, if she was an Eskimo, she wouldn't need those show school, the snow snow shoes. The snowshoes. Yeah, yeah. They would look down and be like, you, yeah, just you're, take you're, your shoes off. you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your shoes <laughs> off. <laughs> Let me see what they look like. Are they comfy? Yeah. 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 In fact, throw those other ones away, the brown ones. Yeah, right ones. in the trash, right over oh, there. Yeah, Please. Honestly, I don't ever want to see those ever again. Those again. Look at how sad she is. Those are like, yeah, yeah. they're from home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're my only reminder yeah. of the motherland. Who made the other ones? Those had to have been handmade. I don't know. I think Alila just gave it to me. Ah. Yeah. Well, I gave you new sandals from my Los Angeles, so, so thank you. <laughs> Very nice. So um, it's, it's your, my party it's your and it's your I'll birthday. cry if I'm so I want sorry. to. No, you're not. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you why I am. By the way, it's my first day back from COVID. And I was like, I'm coming back. We're shooting on my birthday. He won't even know or care. And you know what? Ding, ding, ding. I was right. I care. I feel bad. Mm. You know, I'll tell you why. Mm. I'm mad at Facebook because usually. Um, I'm not on Facebook. Is that why? Yeah, I don't do Facebook. Yeah, because I get notifications. <laughs> So that's how you know. That's how I know. So it'll say, um, Bobby, it's you should wish Cassie, not you, but Cassie, happy birthday. And yeah. I, I, I always go, no, and I turn it off, right? <laughs> but um, if they said it, yeah. right, why aren't you on Facebook? Why do I want to be on Facebook? You know who's on Facebook? Like ants, like moms and aunts. And I know, but your family and stuff. You, know, you can reach out to cousins. I have high school friends that I'm friends with in, on Facebook. The moment I moved to California, I cut those people out of my life. That's right. I don't talk you have to a new oh family. Oh, but we miss you. you don't forget where with. you came from. That's why I moved away. Leave me alone. No, I connect with them uh, uh, in real life. I don't, not Facebook. I connect with them on like, you know, on on email or pictures or text. I stay in good contact with my fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you noticed too that I'm not trying to? I'm not being mean anymore. Yeah, it's a little annoying. I wish you would get back to where you were. No, no, no. I can't. Why? I'm not going to be mean. All right, you can on. be I mean, mean. You know, because when I turned 50, I'm 49, I mean, right? Yeah. And then when you got COVID, I cared so much. I know it hurt me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, please, Lord, please don't let him die. I have proof that you that you talk shit about me on uh, on uh, <laughs> on video games saying people were like, what if Santino dies? And you're like, if he dies, he dies. No, I, never I have said audio that. proof of that. Literally never said that. I have audio proof. I'm going to play it on ne next week's episode. Oh, yeah, play it next week because you'll have to make it up because I never said that. Who am I playing with? I'm not playing with anybody online. Yes, you are. No, I'm playing with my brother who yeah. doesn't stream and this kid, Dylan. Dylan. No, Dylan doesn't stream. Dylan streams. No, he doesn't. He's been recording stuff. And I your have back. not been talking about You're you. You're trusting Dylan. I don't ever talk about you. I don't give a fuck. Okay. 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 I don't talk Can this be about me for a second? It's my Happy day. Happy birthday. Thank you. Can I read you what my mom said to me? What? The beast. Read me what the beast said. Honestly? Yeah, yeah. Don't. I was just trying to get back to my old self. Yeah, but uh, other stuff, okay. Oh, I, I apologize. Thinking oh. of my boy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> you know how pretty my mom is compared She's to so your mom? It's unbelievable. I know, my mom's My a mom's fucking... actually pretty, and your mom is, yeah. you know, a decrepit My mom is sloth. a yellow cockroach. A, a, one of her eyes is much lower on her cheek. Look, at George went and got you a sugar-free Red Bull. You're such a fucking brat. Thank you, George. I You're was just kidding. I don't know. No, you fuck. fucking weren't. I was just kidding, George. No, you, you went fucking to the store? Weren't. You were not That's kidding. That's ridiculous. You're such a bitch. Oh, man. And listen to what she said. Yeah. 
uh, I have so many fond memories of you. How mm. you how you used to run away from me, and I couldn't run with groceries, so I got scared. <laughs> you used to crawl out of your crib at two and use the wall as a backboard to throw toys back in your crib and climb back in. Yeah, the rage started there. How we had to change preschool preschools three times because you were very bored and too disruptive. You're dumb. No, I just would get into fights and ruin stuff. Yeah, because your emotions, you couldn't handle your emotions. I hear you, I go. <laughs> we probably should have skipped kindergarten and moved right into first grade. But one of my favorites is when you were telling dad about the D.C. trip you were going to take. We were going to go to D.C. in high school to go to the white to see the White House. Bob, don't fall asleep. I'm not. I'm just can't focusing. Piece of shit. You're, you're a piece of shit. I love your mom. She's God, you're such an annoying person. She's a wonderful person. I'm so happy to be back. How are you, Rude? I'm good. I'm back in the studio, baby. Huh? Miss yeah. information. I feel so good. You don't know what it's like living with her. That feels good. She's a good girl. She, she, well, first of all, uh, this is what she does. I, I could, I, I'll record it. Every day, mm. I go, how are you? Or, how was school? Or, you know, how are you feeling? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Not one time has she ever asked how I am, what I ate, what oh, I'm why, why, Wait, wait, wait. Why would she want to know what you ate? What a weird thing to say. No, like I, I always ask her because sometimes we don't have dinner together. Sure. Like, what'd you, like last night, I go, what'd you have for dinner tonight? But that's selfish. You just want to know because you like to think about food a lot because you're a tub That's tub. not true. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, when you ask somebody how you feel, how are you feeling? That's fucking weird. No, but the food thing is weird. What oh, did fine. you eat? Fuck the food thing. <laughs> Fuck the food thing. I shouldn't even use that as an example. You shouldn't have. So okay. wait, do you, do you never ask him how he feels, Jules? I think I asked him like three days ago if he was depressed. Oh, yes, yeah, because I mope around, and also I only do that that one specific case when she asked me. I exaggerated right my mood so that she would ask me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I woke. Up. Oh, shoot. Mm. I'm walking through the house. Yeah. Oh no! Right, I'm kind of like you know what I mean. And I work. I I walk in a circle. Oh no no no! Right, <laughs> woo! Right, and she goes, "How are you? Are you depressed?" That's very nice. But That's I conscious. only did that so she could. I want a, her to ask when I'm not acting like that. Wait, how would she know then if you're depressed? If you just it's not about depressing. It's just I want her to ask me how I'm feeling. About my day. How or often my do you really? I have fucking dreams, Andrew. What? What are your dreams? I want to fly in the sky. You'll never be able to. You're too, too, too heavy. I know. Too I'm bottom fat. heavy. No, but that's just a metaphor, right? Oh, <laughs> right. I want to uh, soar. Well, okay. you are soaring, Bob. Yeah, I want to be free. Look at you. You're doing so well. I know, but I just need people around me in my house who are to asking care you about constantly. How? I'm, not uh, constantly. One time. Do you, I, do you, every how, day I fuck. Oh, sorry. How often do you ask her? Really? Every day. Yeah, every day. And how often do you genuinely ask him how he is? Um, how many times since we've lived together in the last eight months? <laughs> Be honest. Uh, maybe five times. That's no. that's dope. One time. Are five. you depressed three days ago? You've never asked me before. <laughs> fuck you. Okay. I love you, but thank fuck you. You know. So my point is, is this? Well, no. Time out. Let's get her perspective. Why do you feel like you don't, knowing that he gets bothered by it? Why don't you ask him more often? Yeah, because. I'm scared that if I ask, because he's always grumpy every morning. He is, yeah. He's grumpy uh, even in the afternoon. You know, that's an attack on me. No, he's grumpy in the evening. That's when crazy. is he yeah, not grumpy? Yeah, so I don't want to like... Oh, I'm grumpy at night too? Is that what you're saying? Sometimes. How? In what way? Like when you're when you're done with your game. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 okay. Oh, all right, so <laughs> you fucking... Look at you. What you're doing right I'm now. I'm no, yeah, no, no, no. So what you're saying is this. Hear me out. Mm. At two in the morning, when I'm done playing, yeah, when you're fucking asleep because you have school at six thirty in the morning, you witness me being grumpy. No, like that's at, crazy. <laughs> like at nine or ten. Nine or ten. I so uh, you think I walk through the house at nine or ten, angry and depressed. Sometimes you sigh a lot, like oh, you a sigh. very big sigh. And then if one sighs, right? If you sigh a lot, I go, hey, bud. What's the matter? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even notice I was sighing. But if someone in my house, if, if someone in my house is sighing a lot, I would take it as an annoying indication that they want attention. If you walk through my house and went, I go, what? What is that? What do you want? So you, I do that a lot. I sigh a lot at yeah. night. Yeah. That's interesting. Because you want someone so to go, what's wrong? That's the reason why you're right. You, you, you have never asked me how I'm feeling. 
I don't want to. I don't want to annoy you. Oh, that's con- that's very nice. She doesn't want to annoy. You. She doesn't want to bother you. Mm. She acts. Uh, she asks. She she acts. She acts. She acts. Okay, she be axing what? <laughs> she be axing. Yeah. Right. As if I'm like Kanye or something. To her, maybe you are. I'm not. Are you sure? I almost voted for him yesterday. Are you being serious? Well, I saw the ballot box. I got the ballot in the mail. Yeah. Right. And it's he's first, by the way, on my thing. He's first, but he's only run, he's running for vice, vice president, president here. In, in, and then I in googled California. I googled the Mexican guy that he's running with. Yeah, Rocky de la Rocky de la 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 and I just, I don't know what it was, but I just wanted to, f- as a f- as a laugh and as a joke, uh, fill it out. Well, I didn't vote for him. Yeah, I didn't vote for him either. I did a write-in. What do you mean? You, you can wrote- write in your own candidate. Who'd you write in? I'm not going to tell you who I wrote in. Mm. But I wrote in somebody. Mm. Ron Howard. No. <laughs> Will you love Red? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wrote in Jackie Chan. Why does that I wrote make in you- Jackie Why Chan. Why did that make you angry? See, that you deserve that. <laughs> Your head fell off. I feel bad for Van Duel. Thank you for these yeah. things. It sucks that my head you broke. You broke it. I didn't. I saw you do the it. The table broke it. Uh-huh. This table sucks. No, I, 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 I wrote in I wrote in, uh, I wrote in. in a candidate. Well, if you're not going to tell me who it is, we, should, we can move on from that. No, we can say it. Tell me. It's an actor. Let me guess. Mm-hmm. Redhead Seth Green. Why? No, it's not a red. Why are you going to redheads? It's not a redhead. I would just think that you... That, because for me, no. right, there was a congressman mm-hmm. running... Yeah, I never even knew who he was, and I, I'll, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this. David Ryu? No, uh. something Fong. Oh, uh, um, I saw it on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I saw it too. Yeah. So right, yeah. and I didn't know. I didn't hear any. I didn't know who, who any of these people were. Yeah. So I, like, I was with Kalila, and I filled out Fong. Yeah. And she goes, she caught me. And she's like, "Are you voting from because Asian?" I go, "No, I just like his details and his fucking um, <laughs> I like his um stances on the props." Yep. Like I try to make something up. Yeah, way prop, off. Prop, prop twelve, where he says about the thing, he really has it right on that one. Yeah. And she's like, "You, you just fucking voted for him because he's Asian." I go, "Yeah." Yeah, that's fine. Is that fine? Do you think black I people just, didn't w- vote for Obama because he was? Do you think there's got to be some black people that just were like, "I want to vote for Obama because he's black." Right. Right. There's nothing wrong if you want to vote. Vote for who you want to vote for. Who the fuck cares? That's what I did. Do you think that? Wait. Oh. Oh. You can't vote. I can't. No, she can't. No. But do you think? Let me ask you this. Good. Do you think that? <laughs> Joe Biden asked Kamala, right? Mm. Because Kanye ran. Because their names sound alike. Yes. No, that's not why. That's not why. That's exactly just, what at, I no, thought. Just think of my thinking. Kamala Kanye. <laughs> no, just think of my thinking. Kamala versus. Think of Kanye. my thinking for a second. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna ask you something. Ask me, please. Okay. Is um, so you know obviously this is what the theory or is is that um some I don't know who. But somebody encouraged Kanye to rant, run from the Republican side. I would say so someone, could, in, someone in Kanye's head. Maybe it could have been somebody in his head. Yeah, it could be somebody <laughs> in his head. Right? Was like, you got to run. He's like, right. I got to run. But so that could have scared people, right? Going, he's going to get you know black votes just because he's Kanye, right? To take right. away from the right. So do you think that Biden got Kamala because of that fact? Not because of that fact, but I think he got. There's a combination of things: BLM, all kinds of stuff going on. Can in I the tell world. you something? Yeah. Yes. You're right. No, are you being sarcastic? No. Say that. No. I think Biden got Kamala. Yes, he wanted to get a black woman is a is a good. It helps. I think he. I, I imagine he thinks she's very uh, qualified and great and is going to do great. Yeah. But also, yeah. Don't. Wouldn't you? Okay. How about this? If you were running for president, who would be your vice president? It would have to be somebody completely opposite from me. Right. Right. Joe Biden's an old white guy. Yeah. He got a I young. Would get a he got fat, a young. I would get a fat <laughs> black man. So you'd run with somebody I know. I don't want to call him out, but he's got funny glasses. So you'd run with. I'm not gonna call him out. So your running mate would be Chunko. We know Chunko. <laughs> so mean. He's so chunky though. He's say that's he just so, texted me earlier. But who'd you run with? The opposite of me. No, I couldn't ask um, Chunko because I would want somebody with like. Um, that could do it because obviously if I'm running, mm-hmm. I know my frailties. Right. I'm not like Trump where I'm like, I know everything, right? I, I trust me. Yeah. I know my frailties. You'd go back I on so much. I know I'll be fucked, fucked. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to need somebody, right, that, you know what I mean, could really 
Imagine, back me up. imagine how big your teleprompter would need to be. You can't read the TV that's three feet away. Oh, no, I, I would never read the prompter. I would, I would so improvise. what would you do with speeches? Oh, you'd improvise every speech? Every, every speech. All right, here we go. A national address right now. You're, you're the president of the United oh, States. Oh, God, not this. Yes, we're going to do it. You're going to look right into your camera yeah. right there. No, no, this one right here. Yeah. Right, That one's right ahead. Which one right here? I, I want you to make a national address to the country. To tell them that we're... Current. I'm not going to be funny about it, but I want to be real. Yeah, of course. That's what they need out of yeah, you. You're yeah. the president. Because a lot of times when I do these improvs, I, I, I lean toward funny. Don't be I'm not funny. Do I want to be real this about it. This is real. All right. Okay, so but I want do you... do not laugh. I'm not going to. Because it's not funny. Tell her. She's the All one right. that does it. All right. I want you to address the nation and tell them that we're... What's uh, going on, though? Tell me the scenario. Can I tell you? Yeah. We're under attack right now. We've had a terrorist attack. Okay? Okay. All right? Where? In, in New York City, in yeah, the subway oh, line. Oh, okay, okay. But can I tell you what was yeah. going on down there? What? A bunch of terrorists decided to start raping. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Ra- That's all you need to know. Raping and killing you're people my, in the subway. You're my secretary of defense. I in the subway. It. This is what this is what's going to go on backstage. By the way, you're my secretary of defense. You're telling sir, me. Sir, okay, sir. A bunch I, of people. I, 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 I got it. Okay, so you need Dude, to address the country. I got it. In three. You said terrorists. Two. New York. Wait, 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 one. Blue Chew. Oh, guy. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. I love Bluetooth so much. Honestly, you've been using it. Yeah, because I'm getting older, right? And oh, yeah. a lot of times when you're on the go and you have a, such a busy lifestyle, right? Your PP, right, don't react um, to the fundamentals of Hard the world. Hard to keep the blood flowing and I, down. And I love chewing on the Bluetooth, right, and getting um, erectile. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Because it's the first chewable approved by the FDA with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's chewable and it's cool, yeah. and you can only chew stuff because you, you have a hard time swallowing stuff, right? Yeah, I have to chew because I only have five teeth. That's right. Five teeth that are working. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians. You don't have to go to a doctor's office. I know people are like, I'm, I'm weirded out, I'm embarrassed. Fine. Fine, just get Blue Chew. You don't it's have to go anywhere. It's online, right, yeah. by a licensed physician. You don't have to go to the doctor's office, like he said. They're made in the United States of America. You don't have to wait in line anymore. It ships right to your door in a very discreet package, by the way, so people don't know what you're getting. Yeah. Right? They're made here right in the United States. By the way, we have both used it. We love it. We sometimes send pictures of each other yeah. when we're using it. Right now, we have a special deal for our listeners. If you want to try it, if you want to see how strong you can get downstairs, go to BlueChew.com. Get your first shipment for free when you uh, use the special promo code. Bad- Friends. Bad friends, baby. Just pay five bucks shipping. That's Blue Chew. Blue like the color. B-L-U-E. Chew.com. Promo code bad friends to try it out for free. It's the better, cheaper choice. We want to thank them for sponsoring the pod. Okay, guys. Thank you. Support our sponsors because that's how we keep making this possible. Please sure to use the promo code bad friends at Blue Chew. It works. Trust me. Com. Blue Chew.com. Bad friends. Better, better help. help. This is a serious tone. Yes, um, it is. You know, during this pandemic, you can get depressed and uh, you have to deal with yourself. And um, for me, uh, I use better help. It, it hooked me up with a licensed therapist, and it saved my life, guys. It's such an easy way to um, to get mindful and to get spiritual and connected. And um, you got to take care of your spirit and your mind, and, uh, and BetterHelp is a really good way to do that. Look, for the both of us, Bob suffers from uh, certain waves of depression and, yeah. and anxiety. So do I. We both have other issues in our real life, just like everyone that's listening to this. No one is impervious to feeling bad or mm. down or different. You can start communicating to somebody in under 48 hours. It's huge. They serve clients over the entire globe. That's true. Um, so get on there. Honestly, they're committed to facilitating a therapeutic match for you. It's easy to use, right? When you sign up, it's, it, so, it's easy so simple. To use. Yeah. It's super, super easy, man. And honestly, there's no shame in talking to people. I think more people should be using this. Better help. They want it's you to start also living a, happier. The most affordable in, 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 in comparison to other online services. What's going on right now uh, for how expensive talking to people can be? This is extremely affordable, yes. and they want you to start uh, living happier. You can see all their reviews at BetterHelp.com. Bob and I both use it, and we do love it, and I highly recommend it. Go to BetterHelp.com/slash/badfriends. That's help H E L P. Join million people plus who have used it. Uh, people have been using BetterHelp so much they're recruiting counselors. So a special offer for Bad Friends listeners. 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. That's BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. Heary, heary. Look Don't there. laugh. Okay, well, You're my secretary defense. Heary, heary to the people. You know what I, mean? I, your president, have a, a national address for you. <laughs> okay? As we know, our Constitution creates a foundation for in which we must react to global epidemics and also national ones and something horrific occurred in New York City Um, I also want to add that um, I as president to the people right based on all the amendments especially the second one and all of them they're all important by the way the amendments were created 
right, as, you know, a tool set mm -hmm. in which we can look down the line. <laughs> we have... We have 50 plus amendments. There are a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot. All right. Tell them what there happened. Are, uh, we will. We'll get to that because I have to. Fill, I know that I have to fill 30 minutes. Right. Yeah, but they want to know <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Tell them what happened, sir. Sir. I'm sorry. Sorry. People are dying. All right. This is no laughing matter. <laughs> I apologize. This is no laughing matter, mm -mm. right? Mm -mm. Yesterday, last night. Last night. Last night at 2 in the morning. So, I, <laughs> so technically today. <laughs> so technically, technically today, right? <laughs> Although some would assume that it happened yesterday mm -hmm. because it happened in the wee hours of the night. <laughs> yesterday at 2 in the morning. In the subways of our great city of New York, mm -hmm. which is a part of the United States of America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why. Oh, sorry. What happened, sir? A gang of terrorists, ISIS, a.k.a. Al-Qaeda. <laughs> a.k.a., you know, from Turkey. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hassan. Okay. Hassan okay. and his wife. Okay. <laughs> Hassan and his wife, right? Mm -hmm. They dispatched their cronies, mm -hmm. aka the ISIS, right? <laughs> to come into our great city of New York, which happens to be in the United States of America, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. To terrorize us, mm -hmm. right? With their ideology that's based on scriptures that don't go against the Bible. They do go against the Bible. <laughs> they have a different ideology. Mm -hmm. Although, be it, we have freedom of religion in this country. Yes. So you may. Worship any god that as you as you want. So I am not judging one's religion, or sect, hmm. or domin domination, do 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 dominatrix, do dominatrix, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yesterday at two thirty-two p.m. a.m. Right, of today, right, in the subways of our great city, you know, they attacked a bunch of um, elderly, people. elderly people in the subways. Now, what this elderly group of people were going to a volleyball game. <laughs> They were going to a volleyball tournament, yeah. right, in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. right? They were going from Queens to Brooklyn, mm -hmm. right? They were this elderly volleyball team, right? <laughs> They're called the Hasmatics. <laughs> and they were fighting, you know, you know what I mean? The Crutchers. Mm -hmm. Crutchies. The Crutchies in the, the, the final uh, senior citizen tournament. volleyball tournament. Championship. Right? Championships in Brooklyn. And they were waiting for the subway, right? And as you know, at 2.32 in the morning, the subways, they don't, they're not as active as often, mm -hmm. right? And they come in waves, the subways. Mm -hmm. So in the window between, you know what I mean, stop and go, between the two junctions, mm -hmm. right, to the people, right? Heary. <laughs> right? No, I'm not done. Oh, shit. I'm not done, okay. yeah. yeah. A gang of Al-Qaeda, Assan, uh, terrorists, right? <laughs> they came in with their masks. Oh, we shit. had no idea what was going on. We, have, we also have the best police force in the subways of New York, mm -hmm. right? And they patrol them, you know what I mean, at every hour, in every station, in every point. Yeah. And we, our salutes to them. So we salute them. All the seniors were raped. <laughs> <laughs> they were raped. They were bent over the benches down there in the subways <laughs> in a line, right? Yeah. And these Al-Qaeda ISIS people, mm -hmm. right? They bent each one of them over. Mm -hmm. They lubed their dicks because, as, as you know, American citizens and senior citizens, they have dry... Mm -hmm. Orifices because they're getting old, right? Mm -hmm. They were raped, mm -hmm. then murdered, then left to rot. Oh. This morning at eight in the morning is when they were found. Oh God! Yeah. So hearey, hearey, hearey. God bless America. We will get these perpetrators. Mm -hmm. And so long. Honestly. Yeah. Pretty good. I mean, as your Secretary of Defense. Pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. And that's not that's no pro teleprompter. You did it no tele. No teleprompter. Yeah. Looking in the camera. You were very coherent. 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 You were fluid. I had information. Lots of information. Lots of information. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like I would have. I think Americans would applaud. I think we did. Yeah, and I think the um, poll numbers would be favorable. To the roof. And I think that um, I would get another term. Oh yeah, oh yeah. At least, I think you might crack the mold and get two or three extra. On top of it. I wouldn't be able to do it because of pressure. 
I wouldn't be able to be president. Like I was, I've been watching the show on Netflix. Netflix, it's called Criminal. Oh yeah, you told me about yeah, it. Yeah. Is it good? Well, it, what, it basically what it is is um, the whole episode. There's not a lot of set pieces, right? Mm-hmm. It's basically um, in the interrogation room is when it all starts. Yeah. So it'll start with a guy, you know what I mean, being accused of something, right? And it's like, don't spoil anything. I'm not gonna. But it's all the episodes start that way. Yeah. They're in an interrogation room. It's like, it's like a Dateline. Right, and they're being interviewed by, and you don't know what you know he, they're accused of until you, the dialogue. It's really well, well written, yep. right? And a lot of them are, um, some of them are innocent, some of them are not. And all episodes revolve around one case, wow. right? But I realized by watching Criminal that that's the reason why I don't commit crimes is because I wouldn't be able to lie in those situations. Ah, right. I think the pressure would get to me, right? And I. Even if I had a plan, I would be so scared in there yeah. trying to pretend. To make up shit. Right? To make up shit that I wouldn't be able to get my story straight. I would crumble. They would they would get me. Well, what about this? How about, okay, so your theory yeah. is that by watching those shows, it deters you from doing something bad. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. No, no, no. There's some validity to it. Yeah, there is validity. And I, I, it's, some, it's a question I've always asked myself. Do I not commit crimes because I'm a good person? Mm. Or do I not commit crimes because I just don't want the consequences of it? I think the B. I'm going to take the latter. You think so? I think because you don't want to get in trub trub. Yeah, but I don't... There's also crimes that because I wouldn't want to do. There's how crimes fun, I wouldn't want to do. Okay, sure. But how fun would it be to rob a bank? Fun. Yeah, but you would... But if they knew that I wasn't going to kill them, that wouldn't be fun because I wouldn't get the money. Well, how, how, what do you mean? If you went in there without a gun? Yeah. Well, no, I even had a gun, right? I think they would be able to read the bank teller what that if I'm not going to hurt them. Well, what if you threaten them with other stuff? If you broke into oh, the bank. Oh, like a little, little mini ba- baseball bat. Yeah, a little tiny, like something that wasn't going to kill them, just hurt them a little bit. Hey! Uh, well, I would have to hide it in my jacket, mm-hmm. right? And they would say, um, I, I would go come to the front counter. Yeah. Or the, what, is that what it called? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, account, yeah, it's account, bank, a teller, Yeah, counter. yeah, a teller, I go to the teller. And she would probably say something like, um, Oh, sir, May hi. I help you? Hi, can I help you? What are you doing today? What, do you, what, what can I do for you today? Oh, you know what I would do? I'd be the note guy. Oh, what's that? What you know, is sometimes that? they say it. I, I, Are you or, sliding me a note, sir? Yeah, yeah. I would give him a note. I'd say, and I would point to it. And I, it would probably say on the out. It would be folded. Huh? And I would say, open. Okay, I just you open. Know, so they would open it, right? Okay, this is- so a, I wouldn't have to say anything. This is a grocery list from Trader Joe's. Right. And I would probably have boxes in there. Okay. Like, where you can check- Oh, what I wanted, what, am I okay with No, no, things? I would ask it like, may I have all the money in the bank now? Oh, no. Oh, you would say that? Yeah. The no boxes. I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to give them the option. You okay? So you. Just, so what does the note say? I would just one, one box. Yes, and that's it. Hey, give me the money. Yes, I no. Would, I I I would probably say, give me the money. I'm strapped with bombs. Whoa. Yeah. So I'm wearing an overcoat jacket, as you can tell, right? And I'm yeah. strapped with three thousand magnitude bombs. Three thousand magnitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with promatic, with promatic. Touring. Ice. Ice. What? Is taurine in there? Yes. Taurine. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Isovolicular, you know what I mean? Acid. Isovolicular acid is in there? Yeah. And also natom, na- napalm. Nate Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some, so, so they wouldn't know. No, they, they would have no idea. They know it up, but yeah. they wouldn't know, right? But they would go, but just and in it, case. Enough to, you know what I mean? Dishevel. Uh, enough to blow up the whole city. Just dishevel the area. And you think I say dishevel. But what if they what if they give you just a couple hundred bucks? If they're like that's all this bank has, that's you cool. is a credit union. I'll go Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I go straight to Dunkin' Donuts. Sir, you Donuts robbed a school time. credit union. You got that's we, fine. we have seven hundred and eighty dollars here. I'll get the seven eighty. Okay. Give them the seven eighty. That's pretty good money. Yeah. Yeah. I think you don't commit crimes because you know better. But also on your point of why you don't commit cri- commit crimes because of those shows, it's like back when Marilyn Manson and they were like He's making kids do crazy stuff, and and or they're like murderous video games are bad, but then they turn out that that's not true even a little bit. That like rates don't go up because of video games or because of television shows. In fact, it can be the opposite. Yeah. But here's some controversy that just hit the airwaves. It's like the, wait, just real quick. It's like um, it does life imitate art or does art imitate life? One and the same. Right. They're intermingling. They're These, intermingling. They, they coexist. Like the yin and the yang. Exactly. They coexist. Here's a good. Here's a good one. Hmm. They're bringing back cops. Bad boys. Huh. They're bringing it back. People got mad. What they is, wanted it off. Now they're now it's back on the it? air. Cops, the show Cops, the longest running fucking show about police officers in the history of television. Cops, C O P S. Cops, do you hear me right? 
Yeah, I, I hear you. I, I no, I'm I, honestly is it is it a it's a show then? Television that show used cops. They used to be on and they're bringing it back. Is that what you're saying? It was on forever. It was all controversy. They took it away because I it, never saw it. How did you not see cops? Is 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 it like she's not even from here? Do you know what cops is? No. Oh, say yes. Yes. <laughs> see. Is it like an NCIS show where they like? No, man, it's a reality show where cops with oh, it's body. It's real. It's real. They follow cops with cameras and they show them like busting people and shit. Cool. Holy fuck! I can't believe you've never seen cops. I have to show you a scene from cops. I've seen cops. You fucking idiot. You know, you say that, and then piece of me knows the whole time that you have already seen it, and then a piece of me goes, "He's gonna say that he's seen it <laughs> to make me feel." Stupid, but him less uncomfortable. No, um, there's a Bill Hicks joke where he talks about the show Cops. Uh huh. About um, it's they were usually in trailer parks. Uh huh. Right. I remember seeing it as a growing up. Cops. But you watch the show, or you just yeah, know the joke? I loved watching the show. It's always the same thing. It, it's different cities. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, I lied to you. It's yeah, it's a bad and lie. I'm very no. I I I shifted your mindset. And I deceived you a bit, and you believed me, it's a, it, and I win that one. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I believed you. Sorry, I believe that you're dumb enough to not know what cops are, because I did sink on that. Because you are stupid, so I, know I thought— I so many things that you're not even aware of. Name some things that you know that I don't know. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. I, I, right, right. Okay, I, who created the show X-Files? Come on. Who? Skinny Fon. No. Yeah, Skinny Fon did. Chris Carter. Yeah, Chris Carter. You don't know. Yeah, the football player, yeah. Chris Carter, the ex, who, the ex NFL I'll player. Try, I'll start more information I know that you don't know. Okay. Who produced the first four Talking Heads albums? Uh, Marcus Lowfield. You don't know? No. Brian Eno. China Nino. Brian Eno. Brian Eno did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, that, my, my point is. I want to say happy birthday to John Mayer because we share a birthday today and we're best buds and we both. We love Johnny. We love Johnny Mayer. We love Johnny Mayer. What a nice guy. Hey, can, we, can I tell you something else moving forward? Um, but I, I highly I, recommend the show Criminal. It's better than Cops. Doubt it. Doubt it. Um, Andres is our, um, our lover boy, our fancy bee. Andres, say hi. Hello. Sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> Two monumental things happened Hello. with Andres. What? When I was sicky sick sick, yeah. someone sent me a clip clip of a guy on TikTok and they said it looks exactly like Andres. Okay? Okay. You, you tell me, and Rudy, you chime in if you think this, this guy, okay, look at this guy, tell me if he looks like Andres, our fancy bee. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's got some moves, okay. dude. Can you push pause for a second? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm impressed okay. by Andre. Look at that's not, this how is, is that not Andres? I don't want to be mean. Like, I yeah. don't want to be mean. I do. I know I'm going to be. Okay. Um, I believe that, you know, all human beings uh, fall into a certain prototype. Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. And it's what you do with that prototype. Is what defines you. How you work with what you've got. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? So this young man, right, had the same fucked up prototype mm -hmm. as Andreas. So they have the same missing chromosome or added Whatever chromosome? Whatever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You know, the little bald spot, right? But this young man decided not to wear um, shirts, button-up shirts with postcards on it. What's, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, right? This young man, right, does that thing called sit-ups. This man, right? You think he's in better acting. shape than Andres? Oh yeah, he took uh, um, dance classes, right? Mm -hmm. He tried to improve, right, mm -hmm. his situation, okay. right? Andreas, Andres, right? Andres took the pro the prototype that he was given by the Lord Himself, right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and fucked it up a bit. Why? What? Well, I think he did a great job. Andreas, he's a good-looking, sweet-talking, smart he's a nice boy. Guy. Yeah. Can I eat this? No, no, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my fucking cake. I'm gonna eat it. I haven't eaten all day. Can't have food around you. Yeah. I, just, oh. I, don't, I, don't eat, I don't like icing, as everyone knows that, so I'm just going to eat the breading part. The cake. The breading part? The cake part. Yeah. It's cake underneath there. Breading. All right. Well, that was, that was a guy that looked like Andres. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love when I do that. Wait, let me show you something. What? Let me show you this. We made Andres do a dance video himself to prove to you he looks like that guy. Okay. He does simple, yeah, now when and you say 
and get ready for his dance skills. I okay. mean, look, you can see these guys side by side. Oh. Let's side by side and let's play the, if I can. You know what, dude? Let, let me say something. Now, when I see it side by side, yeah. Andreas is skinnier than him. Yes, he is, dude. You were going at him for no reason. Andres is an in shape fit. Andreas, come in the room for a second. And he dresses well. Look at how nice Andres yeah, yeah. dresses Andreas versus come, yeah. this guy in the Rockets jersey. Looks like a dude. A, Andreas, a dork. come in the room for a second. Come in. All right, let's play. Let's play both these. Let's play Andreas first, and then we'll play him at the same time. Here's Andreas dancing. Look, skills. You please come in the room. Look at those. Uh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Stand right there. Ooh, ooh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I apologize. <laughs> I tapped you. Yeah. Right. For no reason at all. Not comparing the two videos. Right. Couldn't do it without his mouth full. By the way. Yeah. Couldn't wait till he was done eating to apologize yeah. genuinely. Now that I see him back yeah, to back, I attacked you for no reason. I can't help that you grew up in a different faraway land, yeah. right? Not that With far. Not that far away. Different cultural experience. He's from whatnot. Mexico City. He's from Spain. Uh, same thing. Okay. Five hours away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. oh burn! I, I, it's I, closer I, I, than I, I, Korea. I, I, okay. I come Andres in. for I, the I, win. I, I come in. I said, come in here to give you a little... <laughs> I said, come in here. I was going to give you a real uh, apologies. And oh, be like, nice then. Me? Be nice. That, come on, that's crazy talk. Be nice, Bob. Be, don't be like that. Be nice. All right. I enjoy you. I really, you do work really hard for the company. And I really like, you also do some work for us for Tiger Belly, a lot of work. And I really fucking appreciate it, man. Okay, I love you. I love you, Andres. I love you Let's play these side by side. Let's see what they look like just to prove that these two gentlemen, I don't know how to play. I'm just going to play play. Let's see if it works. Ready? One. Two, three, d hold on. <laughs> God, it's so annoying we can't play music. Thanks, YouTube, for fucking being the most annoying thing. All right, here we go. Let's play these side by side. Okay. And Bob, let's see. Let's see how. Let's see genuinely. Let's let Rudy Jules judge. Rudy, who is a better dancer of these two gentlemen? Okay. Ready? Here we go. Bob. Bob. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Rude? Andreas is more. Um, um, Andreas is cooler. Andreas is cooler. There you are. That settles it, Bob. <laughs> Rudy is the judge. Let's give it up one time for Andreas. <laughs> Andreas is a lot like a lot of soft. No, no, I, mean, I think Jules he's cooler. Is like, like a lot of soft liberals. Right? Oh boy. When they um, they want to pick um the one that's obviously not you know, not the better. What does that even mean? What do you what do you Just even say? Let me say? finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. But because she has a sensitivity, right? She wants the underdog to win. Mm -hmm. She chooses Andreas. Ah. Uh, right? So you think she feels bad for Andreas? That's why. But it's it's based on skill level. I don't understand. Life is. Yeah, but Andreas is a very skilled man. And sometimes people get hurt. Some people, some people that you love aren't good. Some people that you know try their best fail, and what, we have to acknowledge that. What if as you're a society. wrong? What if you're wrong? What do you mean? What if you're wrong? What if her opinion about his skill set is high and you're incorrect? You ever Could think be. about that? Yeah. Yeah, I think about it all the time. I think millions of people really do love Andres, and they're begging. See, look at Rudy's nodding, and they're begging for what I'm about to show you next. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV for your soul. For your soul. And your mind. For your soul and your body and your mind. Look, flu season is right around the corner with the winter months approaching. I love Liquid IV. I like the flavors. You've got to right? get healthy. It's better than water. Way better than water. Yeah, yeah, Water's yeah. boring. Uh, yeah. Liquid IV is delicious. Uh, the immune support is what I like. Bobby likes to sleep because it helps him go to bed bedtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's staying up till 3.34 in the morning playing video games. Six. Six? Okay. Yeah, get the facts right. Liquid IV is incredible. You simply pour it in the water. It has a myriad of delicious flavors, and yeah. it tastes delicious, and it's also hydrating your body, yeah. baby. Electrolytes. Put them electrolytes so back inside of you. It's a hydration multiplier plus plus immune support. It really does. I really do love it. It, it's also, it comes in, the packaging is easy to open. A little tiny rip. Right. And pour it, it in pours your water. right into the water. It's really good, man. Well, uh, we both enjoy it. I like to use it during the middle of the day. He likes it at night. I like it because I like to have long days filled with dealing with Bob. And uh, it's very Can I be much honest worth with it. you? Yeah. I hate water. Yeah, well, water but by I itself. I drink is, it, but with liquid IV, you, I enjoy it. You like it then. Oh, yeah. Water by itself is boring. boring. Very boring. It's not fun at all. Yeah. This stuff has great It has great stuff in it. Vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, well immune. Uh, zinc is the best. Zinc is the best. It's easy on the go. If you're not taking uh, vitamins in your water, the easiest way you should get this. Also, they're donating 
million, 3.7 million servings in response to COVID-19 to try oh. to get to hospitals to help people feel better. First responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. They're good people, too. They're very good people. Liquid IV's new hydration multiplier plus immune support is available at Walmart, and, or you can order on, on online. 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the promo code Bad Friends, Bad Friends at the checkout. 25% off anything you order when you use our code Bad Friends. It helps the show. Liquidiv.com, that hydration, get it in your body today. Liquidiv.com, promo code is Bad Friends. DoorDash! Oh my God. Uh, hey, D- Andy? Y- yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, DoorDash during this pandemic has been so vital. You use it every single day. I, tw- sometimes three times a day. I know. It's true. Trust I me. I love I DoorDash. Between never-ending laundry cycles and incoming emails, you've got plenty on your to-do list. Give yourself one less thing to do to worry about and let DoorDash take care of your next meal. Or your next three meals. Look, you want Chinese food. You want pizza. You want Thai food. You want sushi. A froyo. You, you want a froyo. Fro-yo. You want boba. You can get it all on DoorDash. Uh, we're continuing it's to so support reliable. restaurants in our community safely. There's thousands of people on DoorDash. Restaurants that need your help to stay open. Get the, get the app. Get Download the app. it now. It's so easy, man. All you do is go to your phone, beep, boop, boop, download the app, and what happens, Bob? They bring food where? To your home directly. Right to your home. It's extremely easy. The DoorDash app. Choose what you want to eat. Order the food. 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia. Support your local restaurants. What's your favorite to order? What's your favorite little restaurant oh, to get? Oh, I love the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, Cheesecake. I love uh, Wendy's. Wendy's, yeah. I like yeah. Chipotle. Oh, I like Chipotle. Yeah. Many of your favorite restaurants are on there already. Just grab that app. If you don't have it, what are you doing? Right now, our listeners can get $5 out their first order of $15 or more and zero delivery fees for their very first month when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code BADFRIENDS. $5 off your first order and zero delivery fees for a first month when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store. Enter that code BADFRIENDS. It helps the show out. We love DoorDash. Don't forget, that's code BADFRIENDS for 5 bucks off your first order with DoorDash. Andres has gotten a lot of requests from our fans to be on OnlyFans. They want to see a little bit more of how sexy this guy is. And it's OnlyFans. OnlyFans is a website that people use to sell themselves to either like, sometimes they show nudity, sometimes it's like secret content. You know, you can't get anywhere else. Where? Oh. OnlyFans. A lot of a lot of women do it and they like put- Like actresses and stuff. Nudes. They put like nudes and stuff up there. Whoa, I want to know what OnlyFans, OnlyFans. is. OnlyFans. I want to look at that. Huh? So our very own Andres, Fancy B, has his OnlyFans. And uh, would you like to see his OnlyFans content? We're going to give the first video away for free, okay? And then after that, people got to pay. You got to go to Andreas' account and pay. Andreas, what's the name of the account to search for on OnlyFans? Come check out my OnlyFans at Fancy B Fans. Check it out. Let's let's see. You want to see Fancy Bees? Watch. It's an app. Yeah, dude. OnlyFans. I'm going to download it. Let's do stuff. At, like, Bad Friend. Can we do a Bad Friends one? OnlyFans? Yeah, but we want to promote Fancy B first. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's okay, right. look. look. Okay. All right, you ready? <laughs> There is no, um, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's a bad friend's day today, so what shirt should I wear? Oh, let's see. That. What shirt? Look at all those shirts, Bob. Mm. To Santino. <laughs> mm. Not enough words in that one. Maybe too many words in this one. Um. Yeah, no. Oh. Yep. I Bingo. think we have a winner. Just here. enough words. Mm. This one's just right. Now, before breakfast, uh, we'll play my favorite part of last week's Bad Friends. Cannot stand George, and I miss Andres. <laughs> mm. Cannot stand George, and I miss Andres. <laughs> mm. Cannot stand George, and I miss Andres. <laughs> mm. Cannot stand George, and I miss Andres. Oh, Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's having a little croissant, Bob. Oh, that's how we you see. Look at fancy, real fancy. This is a good croissant. <laughs> well, anyway, I think I'm ready for another bad friend's day. See you, my only fan, next week. Ciao. So sign up for OnlyFans if you're looking for content like that. There's that's no stuff. A- that is no app. that's hot. No, no, it's it's just dot com. It's just dot com. And watching you learn about it while I'm trying to show you fancy bees has been really fucking frustrating. Why are you trying to learn what authorize only fans to access your account? Yes, let them access whatever they need. User user okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Is this how we're gonna spend the next couple of minutes? (laughs) Watching you learn only fans? So it says save changes. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Okay. Changes were saved. 
Well, let me just hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Almost there, almost there. Yeah. So, um, everybody, um, tell me something. Yeah. Um, let's get serious. I don't want to talk about it. I've talked about it too much. I, I, I know we're not going to talk about the things you've talked about. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you because, mm. you know, it's like, you know, um, I was watching that show, that movie, it was, um, not Hot Zones. It was that, that one with um, Dustin Hoffman. Uh, Tootsie? Right now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, it's about the diseases. So, um, um, Diseases? Yeah. It's, is it Hot Zones or what's it called? Outbreak. Heartbreak? Outbreak. Some- Maybe he's saying it loud. Hot break. Outbreak. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a plague. There's a plague going on. It's in mm-hmm. some wild boy. Outbreak. Outbreak. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And um, you know, when you watch a movie like that, you go, you think to yourself, "Oh man, that disease is fucking scary." Yeah. I wonder what it feels like mm-hmm. to have it, right? And you know, COVID came along, right? Yeah. Which is like you know, mysterious. It's scary. It's a mysterious um, disease. Yeah. And um, I don't have, you're the only person I think that I know that I'm close with that I can ask these kind of questions. Yeah. Because of, out of curiosity. Yeah. Right? So um, the, I'm just going to ask you some um, yes and no questions. Shoot. And then you can answer them for me. Okay. Okay. When you're in the height of your COVID journey, mm-hmm. can you still make love? Could yeah. you get it up and have it desired? Yes, of course, because you're a man. Uh, but you can't make love to anybody. You can, you can, you can pound your pod. Okay, good. That's all. Something I, I talked about publicly. Yeah. Uh, when you're in the height of your COVID, all right, are you eating things? Yeah. You get hungry, but you can't taste anything. Oh, do you? Oh, so that's real. No taste, no smell. Smell. Can't smell it. That's really. That's real. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So if you're eating like um, um, a roast beef sandwich, why? Exactly. Yeah, why am I eating that when exactly. I'm sick? Exactly, you yeah, be no. eating it. Yeah, I'd be yeah. eating soup. Soup? Soup, ramen, peanut butter and jelly. Right. Stuff that meat you... And, meat and potatoes, simple stuff. Not meat and potatoes at all. I just a term. That was a term. Simpler than meat and potatoes. Right. Um, but not meat and potatoes. It should, it should be called peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Um, so let me ask you this. <laughs> um, um, is it worse than the flu? Uh, my personal experience... Mm. Felt just like a flu. To it felt like what I've had when I had a flu. So if there was no, it was, if there was nothing, if you, we've never had COVID, mm-hmm. right? And you got this, yeah, you'd just be like, oh, I have a nasty flu. If we didn't know what COVID was, right. I would go, man, I've got this weird, fucked up flu. It feels weird. Okay, so it was then. It's different than a flu. It's different, but the but sim- things mocked each other, right. right? Like like tired, very tired, like the flu, mm. achy body aches mm. for a day. Mm. Two days. What about the lung stuff people talk about? So that that affects some people. I didn't get pneumonia. I didn't get a lung infection. Mm. I mean, as far as I know, I didn't have restricted breathing, and I didn't have pressure on my chest, which people mm. say. So I didn't have that. But I've heard that that's fucking bad. Right. But mine felt like um, you're fu- someone beat the shit out of your head. Oh, headaches, bad headaches. It's like, like when it's like in the movie The Dark, uh, the third um, Dark Knight, where. Um, Batman. The third Dark Knight? Which one? Yeah, when he punches Bane right in the mask piece. In part, the mask piece. And the, remember the little lot that comes out and tss, Yeah. And he goes, ooh, ooh, right? Is uh, that how, what that it felt like? Genuinely yeah, hurt. Is that, that really, is that what it felt like? Yeah. Oh, that's Yeah, I was, it's very Bane ish. Yeah, how <laughs> Very Bane ish. Uh, yeah, how long did it last, though, the sickness? The, like, feeling sick is a, probably a week and some change. Wow. But then after that, you're just kind of residual effects from being sick tired. because you're you're lazy and you're tired, so you're even more tired because you're being lazy. And you, mm. would, would you want it again? Huh? Would you ever want it again? What a dumb question. Would I want to get a fucking virus again? No, I didn't want to get it in the I, first I, place. It's just a yes or no question, man. That's fucking crazy. Sorry, ask me. Attack, sorry, man? ask me again. Would you want it again? No. What a dumb question. Okay, <laughs> okay. that was a dumb question. No, I don't want. I, I would didn't never filter these questions. Do do I? Um, is it one of those things where? I was, uh, I tell you what, you know what scares you the most mm. is that you don't know enough. Right. When you get, when I get a sinus infection, when I get all the time, I get them three, four times a year. I know what's happening. Mm. I know what's to come. So there's an element of unknown fear. Yeah. 
Uh, and I don't think, and I don't think speculation in the media helps either because everyone's <clears throat> like, "Fuck, what if I, what if I get, what if I get, what if I get, what if I get?" Right. And it, and it perpetuates. But it hits people in different ways. I hear. Yep, so it's like it does. You know, some you never people, know. it's really, really bad. Yeah. Some people end up in a coma. My buddy's mom. I'm sorry. My buddy's aunt went into a coma. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And when she came back out, she couldn't speak English. Wow. She spoke Japanese. That's ins- that's well, she learned a new language. I know. Weird that you can learn. It's a difficult le- language to learn. <laughs> no, the poor woman, she literally came, but she survived, thank God. But yeah. when she came out, um, yeah, she had to relearn. I mean, it's fucking that's insane. insane. It's, ins- it's so sad. It's yeah. disgusting. So some people are luckier than others. That's. Are you mad at the guy that gave it to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know what? What? It's... Thirty million fucking people. Dude. No, I'll be honest with you. How could you? Oh, uh, how, I'm, I'm not I'm, mad. I, I have to throw my two. Can I throw my two cents in? Just throw them right. on the table. Number one, mm-hmm. it disrupted our business. Yeah, the pod pod. Yeah, it did. It was tough doing it from I home. I took it personally. Yeah, because now my friend's sick. I the, I'm going through unknown questions. You're right. You know, do I have to do one with Eric Griffin? <laughs> you know, I mean, do I have to team up? With your main chunko over here, right? <laughs> so I'm th- I'm laying in bed going, we can call be called um, fat friends. <laughs> oh, I don't know, whatever you know what I mean? Because I'm fat yeah. too, right? Yeah, that's true, right? So that's number one, and number two, I'm like, I hope he doesn't die. Yeah, I hope I didn't die too. Yeah, yeah, that would be sad. Yeah, and then also, then also, it disrupted. Then we, we when we did the podcast, I mean, granted, you know, the the podcast we've done with with you, sick, mm-hmm. right? We did the best we could with those. We had some fun. But what's great about you and I together, I need to see, you. we have to be in the same, because you have a certain energy, right? Yeah. That I respond to. Same. And in the the three that we did, you know, with you, you without you, um, it felt, didn't feel the same for me. But you did get some enjoyment. You told me after the fact on the phone that you liked doing it with your, with your brother. It felt really good. Well, so I the, hadn't seen Steve since the pandemic. So how nice. So that was nice. So this, this so Corona but brought. I would rather not you get Corona for that. Sometimes you got to get Corona to bring brothers together. Now, will you go to Hawaii when I go? I don't know. I'm thinking about we're trying to plan it because I start shooting Davy season two when you go to Hawaii. Yeah, it's hard, you know. Where are you staying? I don't know. Well, tell the people so they can come say hi. Well, I'm staying in, in Honolulu somewhere. Well, but I'll, I'll have days off. When, we, I, when we find out what Hotel Bob is in, we're going to tell you guys because we want the fans of Hawaii to be able to come say hi to you. No, not in the, the You're pandemic. a people person. That's you true. love people. I like it. Everyone, I'm going to tell you on my Twitter what hotel he's in. I'd like you to go say hi to him and bring yeah. him gifts during the day in the hotel. Well, you can drop off gifts at the um, concierge. Wait, I want them to wait outside of your room so when you wake up, they can have gifts for you in the hallway. Oh, like Henry Lau. You uh-huh. know Henry Lau? Is? Henry Lau. And put some rose petals on the floor when you leave. Is she going? Rudy, are you going to Hawaii? Um, I don't know yet. That's a no. <laughs> That's it's it. up to the Kalila. It's a yes, obviously. Everything's, you know, it's so funny, Rudy. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny you know it's like everything's up to her well I have no say in anything <laughs> if if Auntie Kalila goes um, you like she orders food mm. right she'll go it's good huh Jules and she, every her, it, it, does, it could be a pile of dog shit mm-hmm. Juliana will go it's great Auntie Kalila right well what if she likes if the taste I, of it no if I order something yeah right it's good right yeah okay Oh. I never, I never said it that. Okay. I never said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. You never side with me. Why don't you and side you with him more often? You never agree with me, and you never, you're never on my side. Be honest, things. Jules. Is it because you like Auntie Kalila way more? You just genuinely well, like the, her more. They're blood. They, they share blood. Doesn't matter. There's people that I'm blood with that I don't like as much as I like strangers. <laughs> That's true. That's a true point. Is it because you really love her more than you love? No, Tito? I love them both equally. That's impossible, and that's, that's a lie. Impossible. Everyone that says that lie. is such a lie. Yeah, when someone says about their kids, like, yeah. I love my kids the same. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they fucking don't. They hate one of them for sure. Yeah. So be honest. What is it really? Say it. <laughs> say, she, she's got it loaded up. She just doesn't want to unload. Just say it. Be honest. This is a time to be honest. He wants it. I want it. Okay. I love Atikalila a little bit more. Mm-hmm. God, that hurt. <laughs> oh, fuck, that hurt so bad. I know it did. Oh, shit. That's now, 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 instead of taking this negatively. The way she did it. Oh. It was it's very, the, way, the way she did it. It was really honest. Yeah. Don't take this negative, Bob. How about this? I, 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 can I say this? What can you do to beat her love? There's no way. I'm going to say this. Money? Gifts? I already know that. Yeah. Right? But you have to understand that I know that and I'm trying. Yeah, he is. Right, and you don't. Are, you're not giving me the opportunity. 
I do. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, you know, I'll I'll, I'll, say, I'll I'll add another thing. Even though you hurt me just now, all right, mm. that I will continue to look at this finger. <laughs> I will continue. Look how tiny your, yeah. your pinky is. I, I know. I will continue to try for the rest of my life, even though it's moot. Even though I know, okay, that it's never going to work in my favor. That you're going to betray me. Wow. Right? And that um, it's a love I'll never get. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with that? I love Tito Bobby and I side with him sometimes. Never. It sounds like never. She's a liar. You're a fucking. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice. Mongo Be liar. nice. <laughs> Be nice. Sorry. I apologize. Do you. Uh, um, are you still having trouble in your sleep, by the way? I have sleep apnea. Now, I know, but are you using a machine now? No. Because when we talked, you said you were going to get it checked out. You didn't. Yeah, I, I, I'll wake up at 6 in the morning not being able to breathe. I know, but Bob, you got to go see somebody. If because... I die, I die. Okay, that's true. I know, I, I'm at a point now because you have to understand that... Imagine dying in I'm your I'm 49. Fucking... I know, but you don't want to die right? in your and sleep. And then you think, you think to yourself, when you turn almost 50, I'm almost 50, you think to yourself, right, um, you kind of start Googling, when did this person die? Mm, right? Yeah. And I always have a thing like, you know, Keith Richards. He's alive. I know. Oh. <laughs> but he's my, like, meter. Oh, when he dies, you die. No, when he dies, I'll know that's pretty much around the time I'll die, I think. You think you live the same life that Keith Richards I did? I think he, he snorted his dad. You know that. Yeah. Did he you? He mixed in his dad's ashes. Did you snort with cocaine? your dad? No, it's still in the box, right? And he snorted it. He's done every drug in the book. Mm -hmm. He smoked cigarettes until he was like nine, you know, whatever. Yeah. Right? And he's still walking around. So he's my meter. Like, you know, oh, he's still alive. I have a shot. Okay. Right? But what about guys that just did? It's like, I'll be honest with you. You know, um, I always thought that if I got COVID, that I would die immediately. No. But when Trump went, got through it, it kind of gave me like hope. Like, I can live through it. Right. It's just, it's kind of like that. Yeah. But you still, you, when you're, when you turn, when you get toward 50, you literally start thinking about, Death a lot, and your mortality. I don't. Maybe not everybody, but I understand. I think. Not, oh, whoa! Not are you gonna die? <laughs> I don't know. I almost died just now. Not every second of every day. It's it's every once in a while. All you right. Do, how do you how do you want to die? Not in your sleep. Oh, for sure, in my sleep. Why, Bob? I don't want to fucking die walking down the like. See, walking around. I do. Hey, John. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. But I want to know I'm dying. You know what I, mean? I want to have the moment of. Oh my god, I'm dying! <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to just be in bed like having a dream and then and then die in my yeah. If I'm in a dream, right, mm -hmm. and I die, mm -hmm. I'm not. What, what? It's like being in a blackout, drunk and dying. But you'll never know that you died. You're not gonna know anything, even if you die after you die. Because if you know, no. But if you know you died when you died, you saw it. You knew it was real. Right, but if there, uh, because listen, let me listen, pose this if to there's you, nothingness, Bob. If there's no God if, and there's no heaven. What if you already died in your sleep and this is all just the afterlife? Well, then I, it, 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 I would have. <laughs> what if, dude? What if you've already died? That's my point. I want to see that I did it. I want to go. I want to see that I'm like, oh, God, I'm dying. And I'm going to die. Die. And then if there's no afterlife, which there is, if you're a good Christian like me. It doesn't matter. Okay, if there, uh, uh, for instance, if I'm in my sleep, mm -hmm. right, and I open my eyes, and I go, holy shit, I'm on a cloud hanging out with Cleopatra. I've said that before, yeah, right? Yeah. And like, um, I would love to see um, Coleman. Ronnie Coleman? No. What's his name? Coleman. Different strokes. Oh, Gary Coleman? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so Cleopatra, right? Cleopatra. Gary, Gary Coleman. Gary Col Coleman. Gary Coleman is Coleman, that now? No, Gary. Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman. Okay. Yeah, the um, Carrie Goldslaw. The television little person. TVLP. Yep. And I'd be hanging out there on a cloud, and I'd open my eyes, right? Yeah. And I'd be like, "Did I die?" And then Gary Coleman go, "Yeah, buddy, you did." You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you know what he he fucked that joke up. Why? I'm Gary Coleman. Okay. Ask me if you you're dead. Did I die? What'd you talk about, Willis? Uh, I was. That's too. It you, didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. <laughs> 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 I 
love it when bits don't work. So funny. Is that fun? So fun. That little moment when a yeah. bit. I've done that on stage. By the way, when you when like I, you write, you go, I know. Didn't work. One hundred percent that this joke is gonna work, right? And you you you, you when you're driving to the club, right? Yeah. You get excited, mm-hmm. and then when the guy's in front of you on stage, you just kind of go, hurry up! I have a I, joke. I have a new bit. I have right? a new bit. And you get up on stage and you see the punchline and it doesn't work and it's completely silent. It, that feeling. <laughs> Is the fucking worst. It's the best, actually. I think it's so fun. <laughs> and then I, what would you, what do you do in that situation? I acknowledge, I acknowledge it. And yeah, go you forward. have to acknowledge it. I go, wow. Yeah. On the way here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that yeah. was good, and you guys really let yeah. me know how bad it was. I would even go into the thing like I was. Ex- I would say everything I just said before coming, even doing this bit right now. Right? <laughs> yeah. I was excited to come up here, right? And wow, wow. And if they don't laugh at that, right, you're now in a hole. Well, then you usually go. I've seen you, you usually go. Oh, fuck you guys. Oh, and then yeah, yeah. You, and then, you turn it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they love you again. Then I they snap, s- yeah. I snap, yeah. So look, I'm being serious. Mm. You need to go get sleep apnea help. No. Bob, Kalila doesn't want to wake up with you dead because you couldn't breathe in the middle of the night. What an annoying way to find but your... But all, all that happens is I don't die, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. You don't die. I didn't die yet. I know, but if you get so help, how do you... then you you definitely yeah, won't it die. it didn't happen. Okay. So what I'm saying is, is that, you know, I'll just continue this way of doing things. Just rolling the dice. Because it didn't happen. Okay. Right? Okay. It's just hearsay. It's weird to be so safe about COVID, but not care about dying in your sleep. Because mm. one of the two you have much more control over. Because I know I have uh, friends that are, have it. I have a friend that has to sleep with a breathing machine. Yeah, because... Gary, uh, oh, Joe Coy. He has it? Oh, yeah. But he's in pretty good shape, too. No, he has the thing. He has to sleep with the, with the baby. Yeah. All night long, that's what yeah. they hear. So what's worse? You die in your sleep or her listening to the hum of that machine? She probably wants you dead. That's what happens. People just unplug the machine. What? That's what'll happen. Or you could fill. Can you do that? Fill it with stuff? Can you fill? Can you get murdered that way? You can fill it with like toxic fumes. Yeah, I imagine. Like you just light a cigarette and you stick it, and you blow it in. There. You'd love that if I just. Oh yeah, it would be great. <laughs> that would be great. You could smoke while you sleep. Yeah. You need to get help. I'm being serious. It's so dangerous. Well, I mean, maybe I'm waiting for you. An intervention. I'll do a thing on the show. Yeah. A friend of mine. So let me let me say this. A friend of mine. You need your cupcake. Is there more? I don't know, dude. I didn't bring them. It's my fucking birthday. <laughs> You should have brought me some shit. My friend Dave from my show, Davey, that you make fun of, Dave got me a fucking beautiful cake. A big, beautiful cake he dropped off to my house. Okay, that's, that's different because... I'm way more friends with you than I am with no, him. I'll tell you why it's different. I've known you for a decade. I'll tell you why it's different. Please. Um, Like, you know, when I go to Hawaii, I'm going to do Magnum P.I. <laughs> oh, right. my God. Are you plugging your fucking Magnum P.I.? No, I'm P. not. I'm going to give you an example. Please. Let me get there. Please. God. And when they text me, right? <laughs> Aloha. Like if Jay Hernandez, the star, yeah. texts me. Yeah, text. Aloha, how's yeah. it going? Mm-hmm. I respond to him right away because he doesn't know that I'm a piece of shit yet. Well, he's going to when this comes out. That's what I'm saying is that because you're working with Davey, right? So you you put on the best face possible. You and I are already friends. He know, Dave knows me too. Yeah, but you're not there yet with him. Okay, so you're saying because we're real friends... You don't care about me. I know. I care so more deeply about more you. deeply than you wouldn't want to do. That gestures. We don't. We're we are, we're beyond gifts. We're past gestures of niceties. <laughs> no, we don't. You and I have an internal. Did I go soul to love. Did I go to Vaughn's and get you a cake? Yeah, and I'll tell you one thing. It wasn't good. You didn't need it. You didn't I need don't it. eat Vaughn's cakes. You just did. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Was it good though? You want another one? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It was from Vaughn's. <laughs> it was. You got me, you got he got me. it from Vons for you real. Got me. Really, Andres? Is it from Vons? It is. Yeah, it yeah. is. Well, let me ask you something. You know, it is, and, and this is. Not, and Vons isn't bad. Not stop. It's not. Right. It's not Johns. Johns is worse. It goes oh, Johns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes Johns. Vons. No, first of all, it goes Smart and Final. Johns. Well, let's, let's rate the LA ones. All right. Well, that's it what goes I'm doing. Gelson's at the top. At the top. Gelson's is number one. Right, and then there's a Pavilions. Pavilions is pretty close to Whole Foods. So what's uh, what's Whole Foods at uh, top then? But it's to the, it's not even in the gro- it's its own thing. It's its own thing. It's okay. Amazon. It's Amazon. But so it goes it goes Gelson's, Gelson's, Pavilions, Pavilions, Safeway, Safeway. No, Ralph's. No, no, no. I think I think Ralph's and Safeway. I think 
because Rock and Roll Ralphs in Hollywood is scary. It's great though. I saw I saw a guy when you see like Marilyn Manson there like eating an apple. That's fun. It's great. But then you go there in the middle of the night. It's on Sunset. Right. And one time I was going there before I went to the store. I saw a homeless guy because they're all over in that little strip right there. Yeah. Walked I in. I love that Ralph. Walked in, grabbed a newspaper, and spit at one of the employees. I love it. All right. Yeah. I've seen like Modest Mouse there, the band. Yeah. Yeah. I've run into them there. Who else? I've um, I've seen Marilyn Manson there eating an apple. He's just eating an apple inside the Ralphs. Yeah. He wasn't even paying for. It. I think he was just eating it in the fruit section. He can't afford to pay. pay. Well, no, he was just, he was doing one of those things where Marilyn, like everyone was like, oh my God, holy fuck, it's Marilyn Manson. He's eating an apple. He's like, I got to eat this you apple. You would huh? never think that he would be eating an apple. You would think that he'd be eating a human heart. Or like a bat. Yeah, or something, right? Yeah. But he's eating a fresh, you know, it was not even a red one. Imagine you went up to him, you're like, hey, yeah. why are you eating an apple? I thought you'd be eating like a human heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Marilyn yeah. Manson's like, listen, dude, I had to, after years of doing that kind of stuff, I yeah. really had to curb it. My right. doctor said my blood pressure's through the roof. I've seen there, I've seen dice there. Andrew Dice Clay, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, but we see him at the comedy store too. That's I'm not. I'm like telling a, you who I've seen there. All right, give me someone. And then there yeah. are other actors, like Spanish actors, I've seen there. Who? I don't know their names, but they're like, like, no, oh, that guy's on the uh, Mozart show with uh, Hulu. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, that guy's good. Yeah. Why can't they get his name? I don't know. That's why I didn't say it. Oh fuck yeah! Guy, Sorry, that guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. That guy's good. Yeah, he's good. Oh, oh, oh I've oh, seen that guy. Fancy Beano's. Say it again. We can't hear you. Guy Garcia Bernal. Oh, dude, you know what? His fuck, he's doing the accent. Got to, got to, got to get, get. Oh, I hate when they so do that. So annoying. Yeah, give me the fucking American version of whatever you just said. Gabriel Garcia. Bro. Gabriel Garcia. Someone like that. Yeah, he's like Gabriel Garcia. Yeah. Why do they do that on the uh, the rollings thing? I know. Stop it. Can you, can you roll? Gabriel, Gabriel. I've never been able to roll. Gabriel. No, it is Gabriel. Garcia. I have tongue. Am I good, Fancy B, or no? Really good. Grazie. So yeah, so it goes Ralphs Gracias. and then what? Oh, what, what then Vons? Ralphs, Ralphs, then Vons, and then Johns. Johns, and then Smart and Final. Smart and Final, and then the last one is, where do you shop, George? <laughs> Trader Joe's. Swish. Yeah, swish. Yeah. Where is it, George? What's the bottom? Uh, I do Vons usually. He does Vons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Smart and Final is probably dead last, unless or ninety nine cent store. Does that count? That's not. They, they don't have fruit there. They have groceries. No. Yes, they do. Do they sell produce? When I first moved to LA, my old roommate used to buy eggs there, and I was so scared. Yeah. I was like, ninety nine cent eggs for twelve eggs. Yeah. That was so scary. I mean, I ate them. Do you ever eat at places like it says Chinese food and donuts? <laughs> and LA has so many places that says pizza, kebabs, Mediterranean, sushi. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're, you're like. like I will never eat no, that. No, you yeah. do too many things. Yeah, master one thing. There's one place on the way to this. There's one place here in the valley that's called H Salt Fish and Chips. I've eaten there. I loved it. I used to live right. I used to live on Camarillo. Yeah, right there. Right there. By the way, terrible. The worst place on earth. Yeah, it. The fish, first of all, I don't even know if it's fish. Not fish. Yeah. It, look at the reviews on Yelp. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, we need. To, I need uh, to uh, keep also, talking about it because I'm gonna bring also, it up. Also, you know, it's supposed to be. You know, it's supposed to be fish and chips, right? That's all, yes. Yeah, um, why is it wet? <laughs> like, it, the breading, everything's wet. Hold on. H Salt Fish and Chips. This is it right here. H Salt Esquire. Esquire. Oh, my God. It's called H Salt Esquire. That's what the, the, the nerve of this fucking place. All right. Uh, it's a chain. H Salt Fish and Chips. No, this is it right here. Oh, no, that's on Saltel. Oh, wow. Is it it's really? It's a chain. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I well maybe some of them are better than that one. I can't imagine. Look at this one. This is a photo on the Yelp page. Okay, that's that, not okay. That looks there's like there's no fish in there. By the way, that looks like fish and chips as one. That's a fish and chip. <laughs> right, 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 that's right. fish and chip. Yeah, yeah. That's fish and chip. Oh, there's first of the, there, is that supposed to be the French fry or the fucking fish part? <laughs> this is. Lamette, this is their Yelp page. Look at that That's photo. That's insane. What we is that? Eat there afterwards. What is that right there? I don't even know. What is? Look at that Why discoloration. So, what, what part of the fish is that? That's black. That's its heart. Yeah. All right. So let's see some of these reviews from the Read it. Aesop Fish and Chips. Oh, there's some good ones. Uh, okay, but let's go to the bad ones. That's gonna. That's the only. One. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's a five. Five star, star baby. What's her name? She was high. Let's sort by newest. She was high. There they are. There we go. <laughs> they always put Here best up first. Yeah. Wendy says, worst customer service ever. The owner screams and treats every customer so bad. The day I went in, she decided she was going to first have my He's food. He's Asian, by the way. No shit. She said he screams and treats everyone that, so bad. But, but, but based on that, please don't assume that he's Asian. I did. I'm just telling you he is. I've been there. I know because I read what it just said. 
I know, but you, what you're doing is a, a racist, you know. How is that on... racist? I've never been yelled at by a black or a white owner of a restaurant. I've only been yelled at by Asian owners in restaurants. Generally, they are Asian, right? Always. But don't, not always, but not Hurry up and pick up! Every time. That's not it. <laughs> Number two, now! Yeah. yeah, every time. Why is it this when you're in a Chinese restaurant, right? Yeah. And they're so calm when they're talking to it, but when they turn to their... So this is what I get. <laughs> Would you like to hear about our specials, right? You yeah. Go, yeah. Um, and they tell you the special. Yeah. yeah I'll, have, I'll have number three. Okay, number three. And then she'll, she'll he'll turn around and go. <laughs> is that is that all? <laughs> right, and kind of turn back. Why do they do that? Because they need to communicate loudly to the back or, of the kitchen. Or how about this? Take the fucking order, right, <laughs> and walk back there. <laughs> now let Why him do bark. Why did they yell? Let him bark, baby. Let him bark. Okay, so, so yeah, he is. A, I've been there. He's, he's a Chinese guy. The yeah. day I went in, decided uh, first. It's a woman on this one. She's first going to decide to have my food photographed and then packed it up, expecting me to be happy with it. Then she didn't even want to give me my money back when I didn't want the food. Horrible customer service. So he, she wanted to take photos of it. M- m- yeah, it looked so terrible. <laughs> what happened? H salt. <laughs> the H salt is off the building. By the way, that's true. The letter H is falling off yeah, the yeah, building. It's, it's very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prices have doubled. Fish is a burnt rectangle. <laughs> Lady will yell at you to put the food in the bag. I said I was eating outside of the table. She ran over to take it away from a tray so I could carry it a cardboard box. Wow, this can't be an H-Sol franchise. Something is wrong. Is it 80 cents extra for some tartar sauce? Ugh. Yeah. Regardless of COVID, this lady is very rude. Loud, <laughs> loud and yells. Why? This is great. Everything is overpriced. She tricks you into making things a combo and charges you for sauces. Well, that's good. That's just good business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crafty business. I was there with my friend for lunch. Two fish sandwiches and fries. The worst sandwich I've ever had in my life. Bad service. This is mean. We should go there and write a really good review. I think I want to. I want to eat it, though. This is one of the worst quality fish and chip spots on the West Coast. Zero seasonings. Disappointed. I am British. This is valid. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Uh, Let me read it like this guy. uh, Benjamin V. Disappointed. I'm British, and this was not tasty. Chips were French fries and no chiffy chips. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what a fuck, yeah. Fish was a thin rank tangle. There are barely any fish. I've been to other eight salt and this is not good. Yeah. But then he took pretty good photos. That looks okay. This is my favorite. Chips were French fries and no chiffy chips. Well, clue in, Benjamin. We eat chips here yeah. uh, in a bag. Those are Doritos. We eat fries and those are French fries, not chippy chips. Ben, this is a good one. Haven't se- haven't had it since I was seven. Great service, great food. Thumbs up. Do you think that's her at night writing that's these? That's her. That's Chinese lady. <laughs> this is her. She's like, get a picture of a Mexican boy. Put it up there. Constance, that's five from her. Yeah. Donnie is three. So it's not it's it's not too bad, but it does scare me on the way on the way through. Is there a good place in LA to get uh, fish and chips? I've heard on the west side they've got good spots, but I don't go near the oh, beach. Like Connie and Ted's. Yeah, but you, it's a ripoff. I, it's look, it's good no, no, food, no, no, but no, no. Connie Ted's. Why am I paying eighty bucks for? It's a you, great place. It's a, it's good. Connie Ted's is great. I've had fish and chips there. It's good. I used to live up uh, literally around the corner. From I it. get it, right? And the ch- and the fucking sushi place next door. Yeah, don't go there. You know why? Why? My buddy got fucking worms from it. Exactly. I'm not kidding. Right. Got worms. But Connie Ted's Ted's is good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. You you you're the type of person, right? I cook my own fish. I, okay, but you're the type of person. I cook my own fish. Can I just say what kind of type of person you are? The guy who cooks his own fish. Yeah, you are that type as well. <laughs> Thank you. Right, but you're the type, right? Mm. That orders at a place like Connie and Ted's. Sure. Right, and um, then you get the bill, right? And you go, "Geez, pricey, huh? Whoppers, man, sure wasn't worth it. You know the price though." Man, it's just fish and you know what I mean some some flavorings and some and whatnot. But why is it eighty? And then you're the type of person for that probably goes, will tell the waiter like he has no fucking control over it, mm-hmm. right? You'll be like, wow, man, I, you you probably do a joke. I had to mortgage my house on this one. <laughs> do some sort of joke, right? And they're like, what do you mean? He's like, I mean, an arm and a leg and a thigh. Take everything. Well, it can't be an arm and a leg and a thigh. Your thigh is on your leg already. Yeah, you, yeah. the joke wouldn't work, right? It doesn't make any sense that you would say, <laughs> right? Right? That's you, right? And then you would probably, yeah. like, stand up and make a peek to do look at the tables. Yeah? Yeah. Boy! Uh, or something. I don't know what the joke is. You're that type of person, though. What you talk about, Willis? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so check this out. I'm going to play this for you. This is fucking insane. The reason I need you to get help with your sleep apnea, uh-huh. okay? It's because they have these apps now that measure how you sleep, when you sleep, and also they can record you if you talk in your sleep. 
Okay. A good friend of mine mm. talked in his sleep. It's voice activated. He leaves it next to his bed, okay? And it just picks up shit in the middle of the night. So when he starts, uh, uh, it turns on. You need to get this fucking okay. thing. Listen to this. This is so- This is real, though? This is 100% is he real. comedian? No. Okay. This is a friend of mine from back home. Okay, good. This is insane. You can fake it, you know. Uh, this is good. There's no way. 100%. Swear to God in my life. He sent me a dozen of them. The app logs it so that you put it next to your bed when you're sleeping. Yeah. And it just turns on the moment you start. It starts. How does to hear he you. not listen to that? And go. What the fuck is wrong with? He that? does. That's why he's scared. He wants to go get help because he's yeah, talking yeah, to his sleep too much. Crazy. I gotta get the app. What's it called? Oh yeah, we're in the fuck proof list of bitches to this. Wow. He's like mad in his sleep. Yeah, he swears a lot too. He does. Yeah. Let us have a phone to hunt that. You're like, like, except that was no more. To hunt that. <laughs> no. Go ahead and give me kick for no problem. <laughs> Bro, that, this, this, this sound, it, it sounds a little bit like he's speaking. Yeah. Like a language almost. Let us have a phone to hunt that. You're like, like except that was no more. To hunt that. <laughs> he's drunk. Maybe he's drunk in the dream. Sober. No, but he's in... Oh, in his dream, he's drunk. Yeah, in the dream, he's at a bar. That's good. And he's whispering to, like, you know, some old... You know, the, the regular, the old lady that yeah. sits there that's an alcoholic. Yeah. And he's telling some story to that's her. That's funny. Is that it? That could be yeah, it. Listen to it again. Look, well, just say here. Think of it in that way, and then... Well, it that was for 200, that. You're like, like, except that was no more. 200, that. No. Yeah, it yeah, does. yeah, 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 yeah. He's wasted. What is he in this one? <sighs> she has to have balls pull her a bunch of fucking light. Ugh. I'm telling you it. Erps. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I know what he's doing. What? He's teaching. Wait, in front of a class. Do you want to know how crazy you you're gonna think I'm insane? What? He used to teach ESL. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That this is are, re, seriously. I swear to God, yeah. That's so creepy. That's what I heard. He's teaching, but he's not. He's walking around <clears throat> a classroom, right? And he's telling a student something. <laughs> because he, te you know, you know where he lived out of college. I don't know who you're, this person is. A good friend of mine. Guess where he lived out of college if he taught ESL. He taught ESL, English as a second language. Where do you think? <laughs> New if Hampshire. I, if I'm referencing you as Maine. my friend, where do you think he lived when he taught ESL, New English York. as a second language? New York. Out of this country? Spain. <laughs> where do you think he lived, Jules? I don't know. Out of this country? Exactly. B.F. Changs. <laughs> exactly. New York. B.F. Changs. <laughs> Thank you, Andres. South Korea. Exactly. Fucking. South Korea. So he's telling this to a student. A South Korean student. Mm -hmm. That's why he's walking around the class. He's not walking. But that's what he's... That's something banging in his exactly. bed. Exactly. That's what he's doing. She has to have balls pull her a bunch of... Ugh. I'm telling yep. you it. Oops. Yeah, oops, you got the answer wrong. <laughs> that's what it, oops, you got the answer wrong. Is that really what that is? Yeah. Huh. We got to help my buddy, though. Yeah. Isn't that fucking wild talking in his sleep? But what's the abs? Because I want to do it. Sleep talk. How obvious. <laughs> How fucking annoying and obvious. Sleep talk is the name of the app. Thank you, you for, for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend.